Hey guys, Steven Isolanga here, and today we're going to do another celebrity haircutting tutorial, and today we're going to be inspired by the look of none other than Michelle Williams. We've seen a variety of looks on Michelle Williams, and lately she's been wearing a really kind of funky, edgy haircut, which I love. So here's how we're going to do that. As you can see with this section, we're going to focus right here on the side, taking this really short, uh, pretty severe side parting, and we're just going to simply separate this from the division point, which separates the front and the back, which is basically right behind the ears. We're going to take this nice and tight through here, take this really tight into the back here, and work that all into the front section here, which is going to be left a lot longer. So pretty simple sectioning, and now let's get started with the haircut. So our first section we're going to take right along the hairline, and we're going to actually start off cutting a vertical section, and then we're going to actually go in and do scissor over comb to make this uh, pretty nice and tight here. Now I've got the side complete here, I'm going to go in and then cut around the ear and then a little scissor over comb. Now I'm going to connect the sides with the back. Uh, obviously we're leaving the back a little bit longer and through here, and then it's gonna be a little bit shorter, so, but I'm gonna work this in through the back and the sides. Now I'm going to do a continuation of a little bit of scissor over comb throughout the nape and then we're going to work into the sides. So now we've come to where the back connects with the side and I'm creating a diagonal section here <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is work this in through um, the side here and since this hair was already pretty much shorter, I'm just going to kind of connect the two, um, the whole shape together. So this is not going to be necessarily around the ear, but we're just going to kind of clean up and tidy up the ends here. Now we're going we're gonna to actually go in and layer this and work the back in through the top and the sides just to give it a better flow and a better shape overall. Okay, so now we're gonna connect this, the back and the top. Remember, this part is gonna be disconnected, so we're leaving that short and we're not blending this into this. We're just gonna give a little bit more of a layer from short to long, which is gonna create a little more um, shape and movement throughout the scalp area. And it also allows to leave this part longer, which is what we want to do with this specific type of haircut. Okay, so I've got my shape pretty much done, and what I'm going to do is, now that this is a little bit drier, I'm going to go in and scissor over the comb this a little, a little bit more, just to get it a little bit closer to the scalp, because it's better to do it when it's dry. All right, so. We're gonna do that, and then the haircut is pretty much almost done. So now the haircut is uh, pretty much complete. I'm going to use two of my favorite styling products. Quick Slip by Paul Mitchell, it's a styling cream, which is great for a slight hold, uh, good for a good uh, little bit of texture throughout the hair, uh, really good movement for blow drying, and then the Awapui Styling Treatment Oil, which helps give a little bit of shine and uh, smooth out any flyaways. So I'm gonna blow dry it, and then come back and see what we have. So here we have the completed Michelle Williams haircut, and I think it looks phenomenal. Got a beautiful shape to it, and uh, this is very versatile, very modern, 
and I absolutely love it. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous haircut. As you can see, it's got a lot of great shape to it, a lot of diversity, very, very edgy. And uh, obviously with Michelle, her hair is, is pretty light blonde, uh, but I think you get the, uh, the idea of, of this. So again, separate the front and the back, or the sides here, with the, which is a division point. Take this down nice and close here. Again, on, on a real human, this will lay a little bit different, but I try to get this as close as I could, um, where you can still see the hair and see the shape of it. Cut everything on a diagonal section here, going towards the back, and then working it in through the back here and then cutting this on a, a straight line here with this being the longest point and then throughout the top cutting short to longer from the part to the sides here in the front leaving this as the longest point and uh, I believe in one of her styles she has this coming over and a couple of pieces that are just kind of coming down like this which you can also do but again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon for another haircutting tutorial.